Hello people, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In case you are new to this channel, you're welcome. In today's tutorial, we're going to be doing this curl neck uh, dress. It's kind of meshy. It has two slits on the side, but you can really personalize it to fit your test because you can do it with no mesh, with no slits, or we can make it even long. So it's up to you. All you will need is your shoulder to shoulder measurements, your waist measurements, and your hips measurements. And I think it's versatile. You can wear it, you know, on a fancy night dinner, like, you know, with a coat on like this, and it would still look classy you know or you can probably want to go out with your girls on a night out of dancing and you know do away with the coat and just wear it something like this um yeah with a pair of heels and it would look cool or you can just you know wear it uh, at the beach i'm thinking of making it long like a long beach dress so try it out and see um this is what we'll be using for this tutorial i'll be using grundle cotton quick yarn i got this off amazon i used 4.5 balls of yarn for this extra small size and uh it's 50 grams each ball 125 meters long it recommends a 3 to 4.0 millimeter hook but i will be using a 2.5 millimeter hook so you can use any other yarn that you have available with its recommended hook size and it will still work so we'll start with the top part and for the top part we'll take the shoulder to shoulder measurements mine is 15 and then to that you'll add two inches so my 15 inches plus two inches makes 17 inches that's how we'll start the top i have the tutorial of the top in case you just want to make a top and this is how it looks like it was quick easy within less than two hours you should have the top so check it out i will link in the comments all right so we are going to start by making a foundation chain we will start from the top going downwards so foundation chain you are going to make a chain lo as long as uh, the measurements that you have that's shoulder to shoulder measurements in inches plus two inches if you want it in centimeters just use google please and translate mm, convert all right so i'll chain 17 inches yeah so this is uh, my chain it's 17 inches long like i said it was my shoulder to shoulder measurements which are 15 inches and add two inches that makes it 17 all right so take a tape measure, put it along your shoulders, know how much that is, add two inches, and that's how long the chain you will make, okay? So for row one, we are going to just add two chains to this chain, right? And then I will skip the first two chains and make a double crochet into the third chain. Please note that the first chain, the, the chain, the first two chains do not count as a stitch so this is my first double crochet stitch all right and i'm going to go right into the next chain and make a double crochet this is how you make a double crochet go right into the next one and make a double crochet and for this row it's going to be a row of double crochet so if you've been watching my videos you know my previous video is the same stitch i also have a, a front tie top in the same stitch so yeah um it's growing on me <laughs> yeah but you can make this top like completely you know only double crochets too so i'll see you at the end of the row i am at the end of the row and i have my last stitch to go so this is my last double crochet for this row and for row two uh this is how it looks pretty neat right so for row two we are going to chain two turn our work and this does not count as a, a stitch so this right here is where i'll insert my first double crochet so Go in this first stitch here and make a double crochet go into the next stitch and work a double crochet and into the next a double crochet 
and you are going to work one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of this row all right and i will meet you at the end of the row so that we can work on the mesh but all right so i'm at the end of the row this is how my two rows look like and i'm going to just finish it off this is going to be my last stitch here right here you see it yeah that's where you place your last stitch okay and make a double crochet so for the third row i'm going to make this mesh part you see how it looks on me if you're not feeling the look then please continue with double crochets but if you want the mesh part then you're going to chain four stitches four chains turn your work and this will count as a stitch right here this first one so we're going to skip one and two and into the third stitch we will make a double crochet so we skipped two stitches all right this counts as a stitch this first this first two chains right here count as a stitch so you're going to chain two chains and then you will skip two stitches and into the third stitch you will go ahead and make a double crochet all right so you're going to skip it chain two again and then skip two stitches and into the third stitch make a double crochet so this is going to be the pattern chain two skip two into the third stitch make a double crochet chain two skip two into the third stitch make a double crochet so do this until you get to the end of the row and i will meet you there to finish off the row and start on row four if you're not feeling the mesh part please make it all double crochet okay so we are coming to the end this is how it looks so far and i have my last three stitches left so i'll skip two and into the last one make my double crochet so we are going to be repeating these three rows basically it will it's a pattern of a repeat of three rows okay so i'm going to chain two turn my work and start again on a row of double crochet so this does not count as a stitch on this row of double crochet so I'll insert my first double crochet in here like this right and then yarn over into this chain space I will insert two double crochets where we were skipping two so now we insert two double crochets then I'll go on top of this previous double crochet and make a double crochet right on top of it then i have my chain space i'll go into the chain space make two double crochets in that chain space then make a double crochet on top of the previous one and then into the chain space make two double crochets so simple as that so that's the pattern you're going to repeat this row once you get to the end of course you will do two in the chain here then two in the chain space and the last one on top of the chain two so that you have three like the previous row all right and you'll keep repeating these three rows three rows until you get to the height that you want okay all right so this is what i wanted 12 inches before i put the skirt part you might want to get it higher have you seen how it looks on my back so you might want to get it higher i think i would have preferred to have it a little bit higher but it's your preference so 12 inches and uh, this is 17 inches so how we are going to do the bottom part is your waist measurements right i already have 17 inches right but my waist measurements are 26 so 26 minus uh minus four inches so take your mesh waist measurement subtract four inches what you remain with is what we'll use so mine is 26 minus four is 22 so 22 inches is what i'll be working with the, the four inches just for the stretch okay so i already have 17 to get 22 how many do i need five so the chain that i will make will be an equivalent of five chains right i already have 17 so measure what you already have add the difference okay 
to 22 mine will be 5 inches from 17 to 22 is 5 inches so i repeat again i took my waist measurements subtracted 4 inches throw away the 4 inches right what you have remaining is what you'll be working with all right okay so since i already have my 17 inches i'm now going to chain five more inches so that i can get to 22 inches is that clear so you may have i don't know already like 18 inches and you want to get to 25 so do that calculation all right so i'm just going to keep chaining and measuring and seeing until i have five inches of chain so when i add my already done work 17 plus my chain which will be five inches it will be 22 inches all right because i took my waist measurements which was 26 subtracted four because you don't want it to be too big right so i subtracted four inches and threw them away we don't want those four inches because it will stretch right so only deal with what's remaining okay i hope it's clear so let's see if i have my five inches yes i do have my five inches all right so my five inches of chain plus my 17 that makes it 22 inches all round and this should be able to fit your waist because it's kind of stretchy okay 17 plus 5 makes it 22 okay so we are going to join this to the other side just look where you want your you know on the other side in top of that very first chain uh, second chain sorry on top of the second chain and i'm going to join this with a slip stitch all right all right so this is what we have now we're going to start on the skirt part don't worry about the hips we will make increases okay so we are going to chain two and turn our work just like we would with any other row okay we were turning our work at the end of every row so now we turn our work and we are going to work a row of double crochets because we finished a row of the mesh now we work a row of double crochets okay so the chain part counts as a stitch so i'm just going to go into the next chain and make double crochets and i've decided to go into two chains just to make it two loops just to make it more secure so i'm going to go into every chain until i get to the end of this uh, chain part once i get to the end of this chain part then i will go around where i already have the mesh like we were doing with all the other the previous pattern so you already know then i'll come back i'll meet you here all right so i am done with that first row right of the skirt we went all around back here and i want to finish this off so let me pull this closer all right so i'm going to finish it off with a slip stitch on top of the chain two like this okay so for the next row we are going to make increases so we're going to chain two turn our work so every second row of double crochet will make increase so this counts as a stitch right so i'm just going to go into the next one and make a double crochet and i'm going to make 10 double crochets and once i have my 10 double crochets that's when i'll make an increase okay So if you have like very big hips that are so big from your you know waist you can do like increases after like every seven stitches or every five stitches all right so this is my 10th stitch sorry i forgot to count the, the first one so in this one i'm going to put two stitches in this very same stitch i'll put two stitches just to make an increase okay so we made our first increase right so now i'm going to again make 10 double crochets before my next increase like i said if your hips have you know there are people like with waist 26 and hips like 40 or something okay 
then you will have to make increases maybe after every five stitches or after every seven stitches depending on how big but if you're like a size small size medium you will make after 10 stitches all right so once you have your 10 stitches you will make your second increase so this is where i'm going to make my second increase in this stitch in the 11th stitch i'll put two double crochets in that same stitch is that all right so this is our second increase now you go ahead and make more 10 double crochets and in your 11th stitch you will make two double crochets in that stitch and you're going to keep increasing like that in every second row okay i'll meet you here once we get here all right so i'm back here at the end of this second row and we're going to close this off with uh slip stitch on top of the double crochet so this is my last one sorry <laughs> this is my last stitch so on top of that previous double crochet yeah don't forget i'll make a double crochet on top of it yeah so double crochet and then close the row off with a slip stitch on top of the chain two all right, so what is our next row? You guessed it right, it's the mesh row. Okay, so you're going to chain four. So this row is the row of increase. Always remember this middle row is the row of increase. The first one, no increase. The second one is a row of increase. And the third one is a row of mesh. So we are going to chain four chains. Then turn our work. And of course, the first chain is the is it will count as a stitch here. I mean, as a yeah, as a stitch. <laughs> and then we're going to skip two and into the third one, make our double crochet. So the the two, then skip two and double crochet, chain two, skip two, and then double crochet. So it's going to be our pattern. It's like before, but this time round. I meet you at the end. So I have two stitches left, uh, three stitches left. So I will skip two and into the third one, I will make a double crochet. It doesn't matter what you have at the end. You may have one, you may have two stitches, you may have four stitches, just do what is right. So I'll close this off with a slip stitch. All right. Then you're going to chain two. And we're going to turn our work and now we're going to work on a row of double crochets so that counts as stitch so i go on the second stitch and make a double crochet in the chain space i will make two double crochets then i'll go on top of the previous double crochet and make a double crochet and you know the the, the pattern already so you are going to repeat these three rows and uh, remember we are always making the increase here in the middle in the middle one so that will be my next one that's where i'll make an increase so we are going to repeat this whole thing the three rows in the middle one make an increase the first one is like this i can increase the last one mesh all right until you get your hips measurements my hips measurements are 33 inches so i'm going to keep going round 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 until i get to 33 inches that is when it is round right when it is just flat then it is you know all right so i have my hips measurements and i have from side to side that's 16.5 16.5 plus 16.5 is 33 because you know when you go around it, like you right now it's just flat but just know there's another part at the back of it so <laughs> yeah so 33 inches all right so so from now on like i said yeah some people may not understand this but yeah like people always not understand why how you can wear a dress from the top they're like yes the small is so it doesn't pass my hips i'm like yeah it can pass your head down to your you know to your hips doesn't have to wear it from down upwards you can wear it from up downwards so 
<laughs> I just had to make this clear. It's 33 because, you know, there's uh, that other side. So you're going to now stop increasing, right? Stop increasing. And I'll meet you when I'm putting the slits. So I did a total number of 8.5 inches from when I started the skirt here to where I am and I wanted to put the slits there. If you don't want the slits, please just continue until you have the height of the skirt that you need, the dress that you need. All right, so this is where we were doing the, the, the ending and beginning of the row, but you can see it's somewhere in the middle of the stitch of the dress, right? So you'll just cut off your yarn before you put the slits. And I put my dress like this at the back. Then I counted from one side, one, two, three, four, five, just to make sure it is arranged. One, one, two, three, four, five. This is just a precaution to make sure it, I'm doing it the right way. You can count your stitches if you have the time, but I don't like to count stitches. So I just align it and think, oh, this is where the side is. This is where the side is. And I start there, okay? Five on this side, five on this side. I don't know how many you will have. It just depends on the size of your dress. Determine where your sides are. And I put stitch markers. And I worked on the front one part first. I already, you can see it's longer. I already worked on it. But I will show you how I did the front one by showing you from my back one. Okay? So leave your stitch markers on. This is where I cut my yarn off. It wasn't on exactly on the side. And I arranged my dress to be on the sides. Okay, so from the top, you can see, oh, when I do it like this, this is where, you know, the side is, the side of the dress is, because at the top, you'll have the same num kind of number of chains on one side and the other side, okay? So once you have your stitch markers in place, you will reattach your yarn, leave alone the stitch with the stitch marker, just go right next to it, leave alone this one, the one next to it, and make sure you're working on the right side. The, I mean the side, you know, like when you get to the end of the row and you turn your work, that side. Because it's like we are turning the work. So I'm going to reattach my yarn and then I will chain three. So that's, sorry, two. That's one and that's two. And then it's a row of double crochets. So I will do my double crochets. I'm just going to start here. This first stitch will not count as a stitch like, like we did with the top part. So going to the next stitch, make a double crochet. Going to the next one, make another double crochet. And it's just basically, basically a, a row of, you know, double crochets. So it will be from one side to the other side of the slip stitch. So this is my back side, but I, uh, I, uh, you should start with the front side. So I got to the end of the row, leave around the one with the stitch marker, leave it alone. Just the end it where one stitch before the stitch marker. And just continue with the, you know, the same pattern like we did with the top, this same pattern, okay? And uh, you'll make the enough rows to the ones that you want. Uh, for the front, if you want it like mine, I had shorter, shorter, shorter ones on the front and longer ones at the back. You can do that, or you can have the same number of rows. This is totally up to you. So my second one will be a row of mesh, and I'm going to chain four, skip to make a double crochet, just like we did before, and then skip two, like that. Chain two, skip two. And it's the same pattern, like the top pattern, all right? From side to side, we are not joining the, the rows together at the end. We're working side to side. Do the front. Once you're done with the front, do the back. The total number of rows is totally up to you how you want your dress, how long you want your dress to be, okay? So just to give you another perspective, this is how it looks, okay? I already have my front, but I want this one to go longer. So I'll just continue going down, 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 all right? Until I get the height that I want. So do the same. The pattern is the same like we're doing here, okay? It's quite simple. If you don't want the slits, just go keep, keep going round, 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 if you don't want the slits. And I think it will re look really pretty without the slits too, because, you know, I just have a feeling. So try it out. All right. So um, 
I did the back one and I did 12 inches long for the back, all right? For the back, I did 12 inches long and this is five stitches, five chains, <laughs> five rows uh, uh, higher than the front panel, okay? The front one. So we are going to work the bottom now. All right, we work the bottom 12 inches at the back. That's the skirt part. Okay, so do the other part too, and we work the bottom. So for the bottom, don't cut your yarn once you're done with the other panel. And I'm going to be working on the right side. So I'll start from here so I can show you chain one. And we are going to do a single crochet at the top of this stitch and another single crochet in the middle of this stitch and another single crochet here at the bottom or top of the stitch. That's three. And then in this chain, I'm going to work two single crochets. Normally I work two single crochets in this chain, but now this is my fourth single crochet and I want to put that design on top. What is it called? It's it, this stitch is called like a PP something. I don't know, write in the comments. So I just slip stitch on top of that chain of stitch. So that is one, that is two, three, four, and then chain three. One, two, three, and slip stitch on top of the fourth single crochet. And then I'm going to work four single crochets again. One, at the top of the stitch. And this one goes two. So I'll put, that is the third one, and then the fourth one. Then chain three and slip stitch right here. All right, so on top of the stitch, that's one. In the middle of the stitch, that's two. Top of the stitch, that's three. Middle of the stitch, that's four. And then chain three slip stitch one more try <laughs> all right so on top of the stitch one and this chain one goes two so that's two three and then at the top of the stitch the fourth one and then chain three and then slip stitch so just watch what I'm doing. This is how it looks and I'm going to go around like this. You see where I place my stitches? Top of the stitch, middle of the stitch, top of the stitch, middle of the stitch. But when it's the chain, I make two stitches in that chain. Is that clear? I hope so. So this is at the corner of the slit. The start of the slit, not the yeah, but it's a corner, so anyways. I'm never like read, I'm not that person who really counts stitches and is so perfect, and because it it doesn't really make so much of a big difference. So I just do most times, like without being so precise. I'm not so precise, okay? And I think you shouldn't be too, because I hate counting stitches, honestly. So now I'm going down the other panel. What's the name of this stitch? Please write it in the comments. I always forget what they call it. So at the corner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go straight in like this. 
and now we have where and chain one and then we have chain one at the corner so now we have defined stitches okay so now they are defined stitches it's much easier so it's just single crochet four and make that p stitch thingy all right and then you're just going to go all around once you get to this other side do the what we did before and the other side and i meet you here all right so I went all around like this, the front, the back, the sides, everything, and came back where we started. So once you get back to where you started, this is how it looks. Once you get back to where you started, you'll just make a slip stitch on, on the first stitch and cut off your yarn. And now we are going to do the same for the back side, okay? I'll show you how I did the straps. These are from when I made the top and I didn't want to take them down. All right. So we are going to start from top and go all around at the back like this. Then go up until the other side. Top. This I'll show you. I'll insert a clip of how I did them from the top tutorial because, uh, you know, too much work taking all that, that down. You can make them longer if you want to do like a zigzag kind of thing. Or you can just keep them short that tie around your neck mm, totally up to you you can just put the straps two more at here around here and yeah so reattach your yarn at the top and start working on this same pattern here this stitch that we used at the bottom go around like this and once you're done I'll insert a clip on how to do the straps and then you'll be done. I don't have to show you this whole thing because we already did it at the bottom, okay? So once you're done, it should look like this. Once you're done with this other part, the, the pico, is it the pico? Whatever stitch should look like that. This is what it should look like. And I really love the dress, but let me show you how to put the straps. So for the straps, I just made a chain I folded uh, the yarn into two just to make it thicker. I did about 70 inches long and I reattached it like this. I reattach it to the top and then like this. Then make it a bit stronger by going back in with a single crochet like that and chain. Make a chain. So that's it. Once you're done with this chain, then you'll do also on the other side of the strap and yeah that's it so this is how it looks if you want this back one i went ahead and put this after i had worn it for a couple of hours because i saw it kind of stretched so it wasn't so tight again so i put that just to secure it but yeah i hope you like it this is how it looks on me i really love it here i had not put the back chain okay <laughs> but it was still fitting like really pretty nice on me i love the yarn it's kind of heavy and feels silky on your body so it's pretty nice go to amazon buy the yarn that's where i got it all right so this is how it looks i hope you love it give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe like and share see you bye